Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about three insane things you can do in Google Gemini that I guarantee you didn't know about. And there's a good chance because you cannot really do these things in ChatGPT and most people, when it comes to AI, they think ChatGPT. Hi, my name is Kushank. And if you're new to the channel, here we explore all the practical ways you can leverage technology in the work you do. So back to insane things in Gemini. So first, we're gonna start with the things you can do in Google Forms now. Then we're gonna move on to some insane things you can do with Gemini's video reasoning capabilities. And finally, a new tool they launched just last week, which is like one of its kind for helping small businesses create some marketing assets. So let's get into it. So if your company uses Google Workspace, there's a good chance you may already have the subscription. Now, when you go to your Google Forms, and click on a new form. Now you're gonna see this Gemini window and this window will make sure you never have to manually create an annoying Google form ever again. I didn't even realize when they launched this feature until one day I wanted to create a form and I was like, what is this new thing? So what you gotta do here is just describe the form you want to create. For example, I want to create a waitlist form to test the demand for a Gemini mastery course. Now, either you can just do this, like, you know, whatever form you want to create, or maybe you have more relevant data. Maybe you're trying to create a form for like a job application and you may want to link the job description you may have in like Google Docs or something, or you're using this for an event registration and you may want to refer to your actual event details that you can incorporate into the form. So whatever that form might be, either you can just explain the form you're creating or you can just like do at and then refer to the documents. It could be a spreadsheet, a Google Doc, and possibly a presentation too, uh, which I don't think I have any here, so it's not showing up, um, where you can just link your document so it can give the context to Gemini here and just hit create. Now, Gemini automatically created the entire Google form for me. So here we have Gemini Mastery Course Waitlist, Unlock Your Rate Potential, Join the Waitlist, Be Among the First to Master Gemini's Transformative Workflows. We have full name, email, LinkedIn profile, the different roles for the people with a drop down. We have a company size drop down. We have a primary use case drop down. We have uh, like, you know, how much they're willing to pay for this course drop down. We have like, you know, like questions for early bird pricing, which is pretty good. Then we're looking at the current experience level for the people, the tools or the stack they might already have, the best learning format. Uh, the biggest barrier for them uh, just to like handle the objections and if they would be interesting in some beta access for like you know some feedback on the pre-launch modules and then if they're willing to even refer to the friend now it was able to pick up like how did they hear about this course so again this is the information that was mentioned in, in my google doc which i linked so is this the newsletter is it my linkedin profile my twitter or x my youtube which is this one a friend or a colleague or like search engine and then any other specific workflow or challenge then you know they would want me to cover in this course so now we have this perfect form which i don't think i have to edit at all ready to go so if i'm happy with uh, what it generated i can just go hey create form and now i can just make any slight changes i may want to make maybe delete some questions change the order whatever i have to and my form is ready to go by the way this form is going to be in the description if you are actually interested if i should be putting out a gemini course do let me know. All right, so that was number one. So number two is again something that wasn't really announced publicly or at least I missed and so did other people because I didn't really see anybody else talk about it either. It's Gemini's ability to understand and reason over a video. Let me give you a quick example and we'll compare it with ChatGPT to show you it actually doesn't work across any other tool. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to Gemini and I'm just gonna open my account and I'm just gonna go here to my content coach. I'm gonna upload the reel I just worked on and it doesn't have any captions right now. Like there's no text on screen for it to understand what's happening in the video. And uh, actually I can even show you what the video looks like right now, just so you have a bit of an idea. So this is what the video looks like. It's just pretty much like, you know, raw me talking, no screen share, nothing else. And I may just want to get some feedback on the video based on my strategy. I'm going to get to it like what I'm doing here, but let me just show you the demo of how this reasoning model works. Hey, uh, can you um, look at this new draft and tell me if it aligns with the strategy? and please score it out of 10 for a few categories. Easy to understand the hook, the storytelling, and uh, overall demand for the topic slash relevancy. Now, Gemini here is actually gonna reason, understand the video, look at the tone of my voice, like the hook I used at all to give me feedback on this video. And this is the reason I said where I didn't really mention like any text on my video where like there's no hook that it can read from. It's actually understanding what my hook in the video is. So here we have the video. It's going through my strategy. 
and let's see what it's kind of giving me score for. So easy to understand, 10, the four part structure, triggered knowledge tool instructions is a perfect simple mental hook. So this is a video about like building your agents in Zapier. The hook, which was, this is the easiest way, is a clear hook for a beginner audience. Our higher leverage audience isn't motivated by the easy, they're motivated by a powerful new or competitive edge. So it's able to break down the hook that I used in the video and storytelling, it's an explanation, not a story. You present a fantastic example, the newsletter workflow, but the story, the why at the beginning is like good personal insight, but not a strategic thesis. <clears throat> it's giving me very nuanced feedback on my video, which none of the other tools are capable of at the moment. Then we have topic demand. It's a spot on topic. No code AI agents is A+. plus. Let's just say I'm gonna copy this prompt here and I'm gonna go over to Claude. Let me upload the video, but let's say, see? Uh, you may not upload files larger than 31 megabytes. We can't even upload the video in Claude. And then for the same feature, if we go to ChatGPT, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna add the file, attach photo and files. Again, it didn't mention the videos. If we just go here to the downloads, I'm gonna add my video and I'm just gonna put the exact same prompt. So why is this important? I mean, think about if there's anything you do in your work that relates to a video. Are you a marketer? you run ads? Are you in the management position and you do a lot of video calls and, or you have to do a lot of presentations? Are you a creator like myself and you have to do a lot of content? If anything you do relates to a video in your work, you can now leverage this intelligence to help you with analysis or feedback. And here's how I'm actually leveraging it. So I have this very, very long thread within Gemini where what I did was I added some of my best performing videos and some of my worst performing videos. And I asked Gemini to help me analyze what were the things in the videos which did well? Was it the topics? Was it the way I had my hooks? Was it the way I presented the idea? Or was it just my tone of voice? Between the high performers and the bad performers and really break down the strategy of what I need to do to like produce better quality videos consistently. Then I created a new gem, called it my Digital Samaritan Content Coach, then add all those instructions, kind of like my playbook based on the chat as instructions here. Now, every time I'm working on a video, I would upload the video draft to this Gemini chat and get a feedback. I know it's not perfect, it's AI, but at least it's a good sounding board for me to kind of see how well it aligns with the strategy because as I'm working on that idea, I could be very blindsided. Like I just feel like whatever I did is perfect, I love it. That's why I did it. So I would encourage you to think about different scenarios, how you could be leveraging this. Maybe you wanna like do your introduction, you know, for a job interview. Just record yourself, you know, presenting yourself on camera, how you would introduce yourself in a job interview and get Gemini to give you the feedback. Looks like ChatGPT is not even letting me like hit enter with this video file for some reason. Yeah, but I mean, I've tested with smaller videos too. It just doesn't work within ChatGPT. Then to test the reasoning capability of this video model, I did a fun experiment. What I did was I wanted to pick an ad and I wanted to see if I can actually recreate the entire video frame by frame. So I just went to Meta Ads Library and just picked like a random ad that I was like, okay, it's kind of cool enough, got lots of different shots and all that stuff. And I just downloaded the video. Here's the ad which I downloaded. Then I just wrote a very simple prompt. Can we turn this ad in the video into an exact prompt to recreate in Sora. We want to test the technology, so we want to create the exact same video from the prompt. And it gave me this prompt. Now, I put this prompt in Sora, and this is the video we generated. Nine to five doesn't have to look nine to five. Slide into studs, make the routine yours. <laughs> I know it's not perfect, but I was actually shocked how accurate it was to replicate the video frame by frame. We didn't really upload a product image, so just able to extract that like those angles and like, you know, the exact shots and the exact product and like the description of the woman from the video into a prompt and back to a video was mind blowing. I mean, I'm not sharing this to encourage like plagiarism or like just to copy ads. I mean, it's gonna happen regardless, but I just wanted to test the capability of the reasoning model over the videos that Gemini has to offer. All right, so let's move on to the third one, which is a new tool that was dropped by Google Labs. It's called Pomeli, and at the time when this video is recorded, it's only available in Canada, US, New Zealand, and Australia. I don't know why they select certain countries for certain launches. It is what it is. So if you're not in these regions, either maybe you can try VPN, or if not, I'm gonna show you what it does and how it works. I think it's probably the first time Google Labs has launched a product which is more on the commercial side for SMBs versus like more consumer oriented. So what this does is lets you create on-brand marketing assets from very simple prompts. So if I open it up, I'm gonna see an option to create business DNA. What we're gonna do is start by dropping our website. So I'm gonna use example of uh, the speaker company called Fugo. Like my brother and I will love these speakers. They're so rugged. I mean, I don't think company runs anymore, but yeah, they were kind of underrated. Anyway, what we're gonna do here is like just take the website URL 
just drop it here. So that's all we're gonna do. Now Pomeli will first extract the business DNA. So it extracted the logo, it extracted the fonts, the colors, the tagline, the brand values, brand aesthetic, brand tone of voice. And we have a few product images that were extracted from the website. Now, the way this works is that all I have to do is just type the campaign or the idea I have for the post. And the tool will automatically generate on-brand assets for the product. Now, in an essence, it's not really different than like other AI image tools where you can like, you know, remove the background, add some text and all that stuff. But what it's really doing is like putting all that process together. So it uses the brand values and aesthetic to put these images together without you having to use multiple tools or trying to put that through a prompt. So here are some of the images we were able to create. And there's some light editing features here. We can change the aspect ratio, we can change the description. Um, so there's like a few light image editing tools you can do. Of course, if you are a big team, you have a professional graphic designer, it's gonna be so much faster and better to like just use other uh, tools or do it like, you know, and like, or having the experts do that. But for businesses, just getting started or people who don't have any resources and they want some on-brand images. If this kind of quality is something you don't have right now, I would say definitely use this tool. But if you already have this kind of quality, I would just say like, you know, leverage other tools. But again, just to kind of get the step up, it's a very fast way to generate on-brand assets. And that being said, for people who may not have any graphic design experience at all, or like their website looks like from the 90s, this is gonna give you a bit of a step up. And my hope is that they just launched a tool as a labs project just to kind of get consumer feedback just like what they did with Notebook LM. And if the feedback is actually really solid, it probably will get better because the technology that exists right now for image generation is actually quite advanced that there's no reason why it shouldn't get better. So we talked about three underrated things you can do in Google Gemini. First was Google Forms. Second was reasoning or, or analyzing our videos in Gemini. And third was the new tool, Pomeli. If this video was useful, give a thumbs up. And if you wanna continue learning how to leverage emerging technology like AI in the work you do, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment uh, which one of these three technologies you're most excited about. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.